Hello everybody. We are going to read the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Our letter of the day is letter C. And here are some of our caterpillars from our classroom. Two of them have already gone to the lid and the other three are hanging out. They've been eating a lot, growing, and I think they're gonna start making their cocoon or their chrysalis soon. So I will keep you updated on the caterpillars as they grow. And uh, maybe we can come up with some names for them. All right, so I'm gonna read the story. It's The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Wow, on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage and one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Whew! That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't a hungry caterpillar, or he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out, and out popped a beautiful butterfly. Wow, how amazing. So I will uh, keep you posted on our little buddies, okay? All right, bye.